Here we are headed down King Arnold, passing Estelle Street on the left here. Here's the old, that was opened as a, a uh, chicken place. Not to eat, but to like kill chickens and you'd go get your fresh chickens here. Here is a new apartment complex. Those two houses are still up there. Municipal parking lot right here. City Hall right there. And the fire station. There's the rec center. I'm gonna go up this hill because there's a car behind me who is impatient. Y'all remember this hill? How many of you just rolled this hill just because it's like a roller coaster? But look, I'll give you a great view. There we go. The football field. There was a ticket booth there at one point, and then across the way on the other side, there was a big booth up there uh, as well. I've seen in old pictures, but there was a, like a green ticket booth right there. You can still see, I think, like that little piece of cement. Maybe it sat right there on that piece of cement, but the sun is beautiful right now. Um, there is the Hayfield High School football field. So many games and events have happened there over the years. And then over here, where I am at the top of the hill, I know there used to be uh, businesses right there. I wonder if they'll ever, what will ever be on this land again, if anything. But yeah, there used to be businesses right here. In the apartments. It's such a beautiful school. I have the, uh, I went to the Keenan Research Center at the Atlanta History Center a few weeks ago, and I found the original architectural drawings for this school. I'll share them online, with, I'll share them on Facebook with you at some point. But I thought that was really cool. And uh, in the architectural drawings, it shows, I don't know if it actually ever happened, but it shows that there was in the plans a firing range, a rifle range in the basement of it. A firing range. Did that ever happen? Did you all practice rifle range fighting, down, uh, firing down in the basement? Uh, because that was in the original plans. I was so surprised with that. This is called Clarion Court now. I'll bet there was a pool in that courtyard at one point. Entrance to Central Park. That is, once again, Chick-fil-A complex. Clarion Court, there's Parkview Place where I, I walked down the other day thinking I was gonna come to Argo and realized my mistake. There's Louise Street. Was this a doctor's office? That's my guess. That was a doctor's office at some point. 421, and then there's this house on La Vista. Sits right there. It's just kind of tucked back in there. 419, I think, 415. I can't read it very well, but now here we are. I'm headed to the liquor store, by the way, getting wine. So I'm headed over to uh, Johnny's Pizza to pick up pizza now. So it's a, it's a wine and pizza night. Um, the sun is placed in a way that I don't know if I'll be able to show much, but let's see. Uh, right over here is where Ford used to be. Now Porsche is there. There's a track there, a hotel a little further down. Here is their service center. There's something else being built back there, but I keep forgetting what it is. That is the Kempton Hotel. That's looking down towards 85 east. Now we're going to turn and go west. Yeah, but here's the plaza, y'all remember. It had the Eckerd in it. going by the uh, 
of this little road right here that goes into the Chick-fil-A parking lot used to be Sherman Road, I believe. Is that what that was called? Yeah, Sherman Road. Holder Tire was right there. The original Dwarf House was right there where the front is, right there. Before the time of most people watching this, Domino's, Subway, all of this were residences back in the 30s and 40s before businesses started taking over. There's the Jackson building. This was, uh, I think that opened as um, Citizens Bank, then it turned into Wells Fargo. Now it's closed, so we don't know what it's going to be. That building over there was Tri-City Federal, I think. There's your original McDonald's. It's now a Chinese place. Here is Corner Tavern. Sam Hape's house was on that spot. Hence, Sam Hape Plaza right there. And here we are downtown. Coming up to pass uh, the Academy Theater here, which is where the Tri-City Hardware used to be, right there. This was the a and but now coffee shop and restaurant. We're gonna get a new restaurant here soon. Right here on this building, right on the end. That one right there, the black one. That's gonna be a, a restaurant. All right, I'm gonna go this way. The old grocery store. Old gas station, I think that was Ricketts gas station. Now this tricky intersection, looking north, going across the train tracks, and uh, since I think 2010, maybe before, the church was moved from next to the depot to there. And this is all Delta property now, it has been for, gosh, what, 30 years? Coming up is the Avian Apartments, the first apartments in Hapeville, built in 1920-something, 20, 28. And I'll be doing a video at the end of this month about that property next to it and what happened there. There's Donahue Lewis Funeral Home. That used to be a Waffle House, but is now uh, where you can get bodies shipped. I guess that's convenient being next to the airport. So if someone passes away and you need to like fly their body somewhere, that's what they do. Uh, that used to be Steve Harmson's, um, in the seventies anyway, uh, service station, but now it has been re uh, turned back into its original look and uh, added onto there and it's Atlanta printmakers. It's beautiful. Now along this stretch of Virginia Avenue used to be homes, but even uh, those of you watching that are in your 70s, mid 70s, um, well, I'm sure you would have, you know, in your childhood, the homes would have still been here. There's only one or two, we just passed them, left. Uh, but it's all like medical places. There's a park here now, as you turn to Virginia Curve, corporate chain places and there's Virginia Avenue right there. And this is where I get my pizza. Johnny's Pizza. And we'll park right here. And Pit Boss Barbecue used to be over there. Now, they're in that building. I'll show you the other side of Virginia Avenue and what it looks like now as we go back the other way. Uh, like I said before, back in the 30s and 40s, and of course before that, this whole street was homes on both sides but there's a park there now but there used to be homes there this business is called crew outfitters for uh flight attendants and pilots and such this is true kathy's chick-fil-a catering and delivery now and then you've got a home that's empty and a home that is occupied and that's it that's all that's left here medical peace tree spine uh clinic 
and then the back of uh, what used to be the Fulton Theater. There's a nice mural there. And here we are at Central, and I'm gonna go straight across. Uh, this is a Vietnamese restaurant now, but that opened as a gas station back in, I think, 1950, no, the 40s. I forget the name of it, but I have a picture of it somewhere. All right, wait, this is a tricky intersection because I want to go straight across, but this car is not going to let me. All right, I'm going. This building was built in 1950, I believe, and we are on, do you imagine living right across from there? These beautiful homes, like, right directly across from the gas station now, but we're on Myrtle. Myrtle? Yeah, we're on Myrtle. And I gotta be careful, there's a guy like walking right up the middle of the road. Myrtle Street. There's Dick Miller's house, 3345, when he was a kid. My friend Kate and uh, Michelle live there now. Sorry, I'm swinging around a lot this time. Usually I go up and down each side of the street. This is 3330. Uh, but today there's 3317, gorgeous. 3302, 3298. 292. I don't know what that one was that I just passed. Sorry, I'm swinging around so much. I usually do a better job of this, but I actually wasn't planning on coming out today. But here is former North Avenue School, 95 years old, y'all. The uh, I, I found the original architectural plans of this, too, at the History Center. And I love the old pictures that show the original window that was there. Oh, it was just so beautiful. 95 years ago, y'all, that school opened. Lake, Lake Avenue, is it? That one's, that's getting renovated. Number 647, 643, 639. Someone just told me the other day on the Hateville channel that they grew up in 621, but I can't remember who it was. Forgive me. I wish I could remember everybody, but there's thousands of us here now. 619 on the page. 615. Renovated a couple years ago as 611. 607. And the old stations. Still sitting here empty. turn on Jackson Street. This is a very random tour this time. Uh, usually I plan out better where I'm going to go, but I don't know. Maybe some of you, will, by randomly doing this, I'll be coming across places you haven't seen otherwise. My friends live in this one, 3240. Here's 3236. We're at Jackson and Walnut now. I'm going to go down because... Um, Oh, this, this house, there's an original house there and an original house there. That one got built right in between. They stuck that right in between. There's 3217 with his Yard of the Month sign out front, which I love. He told me as I passed by a couple of years ago that his parents actually won Yard of the Month many years ago, and he kept the uh, sign in the yard. Anyway, this house over here... I believe Ed Milton used to live in this house, 3170, and he's the one who did the, uh, oh, there's two houses getting uh, crammed onto that lot right next to 3187 over here behind the church. We're going down uh, Woodrow now. But he uh, lived in that house, and uh, when Cheryl Landrum sh saved with, shared with me recently her buzz books, I saw that that address had two girls in 1968 named Faye and Kay Milton. So I didn't know much about Ed Milton other than that he uh, was instrumental in creating the Hateville History book back in 91, along with Melvina Wells, Miriam Hudson, Pinky, Pinky 
Oh, I can't remember his her name, Pinky. I know you're saying it out loud. Anyway, but that was his house, and I had always suspected it was, but then when I saw in the buzz book, Faye and Kay Milton, I was like, okay, it was the Milton house. Who were Faye and Kay? Were they, uh, were they twins? All right, so now we're at North Fulton and Lake Drive, and uh, this house just sold. It's sold twice since I've lived here, and a new guy uh, moved in. Faye and Kay Milton, so were they twins? Did you know them? And now we're to Walnut Street where I live. This is Walnut North Fulton. All right, create yourselves a great day. Bye.